Okay, hello guys. Today I'm going to take you through how to install a Samsung SSD or any type of SSD into your MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro I'm using is a mid-2012 model, um, which was the last model where you could um, upgrade it with this type of solid-state drive. Now, to do this you're going to need to buy a solid-state drive like this Samsung A50 Evo here. I have the one terabyte version, but they're all the same shape and size or you can get any other brand. Um, the tools you're going to need is a triple zero Philip head screwdriver. You're going to need a T6 torque screwdriver, which looks like a little star piece. I'll show you them later on in the clip. And you're also going to need a SATA cable. Okay, so this is what comes inside the box. This SSD will transform your MacBook. It'll make boot up um, files, opening video, photos, just anything much, much faster on your MacBook Pro. And it'll make a massive difference. I'm going to show you guys how to plug in the SATA cable. Very simple, just straight into the side. And then after you've got that there, you're just going to plug it into the USB. Um, and then you're going to download a copy of uh, Carbon Copy. It's a uh, free software for 30 days. Use the trial. It works very, very well. As you can see, I have it set up on my computer there. And it's probably one of the most simple software you can use to do this process. So first up, once you plug in the Samsung SSD, this is going to pop up on the screen. And you're just simply going to put in a new name. I just named mine Samsung SSD. You're going to have it as Mac OS Extended and Journaled, and then GUID. It's very important you have GUID, otherwise on boot up, your computer will not recognize it. So just make sure you have that. Then this little pop-up is going to come up. Just say OK is fine. And yes, OK. So that's just going to erase it. And when it goes blue, that means you're in, in the clear. Okay, so that's all done for us now. Okay, so next up, we're going to use, we're just gonna go out of that, close it up, and then we're going to open up our carbon copy. Okay guys, so here we are in carbon copy. So you're going to select the old hard drive, hard disk drive as the source, and your new SSD as the destination. And then you're simply going to click clone and it's going to do it all for you. It is going to create an exact copy um, of your old hard drive onto the new SSD. So that means that you can basically swap out your hard drives, place in the new one and your computer will work exactly like it used to. There'll be no difference at all apart from an awesome speed. It'll be much, much faster than before. Um, now, just a little word of warning on this process. I had about 685 gigabytes of data to transfer in from a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and it took me about eight hours in total. So it is a very long process. Just be um, aware of that. I did buy quite a cheap SATA cable off of eBay, which may have slowed down the process a little bit, but I think despite how good your cable quality will be, it's still going to be cool. Okay, so once all of your files have transferred, you're just going to have this little pop-up. So you create a recovery partition. Just click OK. Um, and it's, just, it's not going to take up much space there. It's good to just get it done. So make sure you do that. It's going to be a little bit of wait time. And then you can click OK. After you've done that, you can close up Carbon Copy. And then we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be installing it. So for that, just make sure you have your screwdrivers. Like I said before, triple zero Phillips for the screws on the back of your Mac. And you're also going to need a T6 Torx screwdriver for taking out the screws on the hard drive itself. So let's go through with that. So yeah, after the process is done and the recovery partition is made, close carbon copy and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we go. So, there you go. You need the triple zero Phillips head. I just have a little micro precision kit like that. 
and you're going to take out all of the screws on the MacBook base. Just make sure you're very careful. Place them on a flat surface so they can't roll away or get lost. Otherwise, other people will put it in a little tin or something like that. Um, now, just a little word. So, in case you have any trouble putting them back into your MacBook. Okay, so all of the screws on the back of the Mac are short, except for the top three screws on the right hand side. So that's one big screw there. This is the second big screw. And then this is the third big screw here. So if you do forget the order when you're trying to reassemble your MacBook later, just remember those three big screws are in the top right hand corner and the rest are all small screws. Okay, so let's take off the back, have a look inside. There is a little bit of dust inside. Um, you can brush it off Get something light if you want to and just give, give it a little clean up in there but uh, just be careful with the electronics okay so the first thing you have to do is take off the the battery disconnect the battery so it's a little bit tight just be careful not to snap anything off while you're doing it and then you're going to use the Phillips head triple zero to undo this secure lock bar it has two screws there so my screw is a little bit uh, sticky a bit hard to get undone but, yep, just release it and place it down on the table. Next, you're going to pull out your hard disk drive, release the cable, and that's it. Hold on to that hard drive just in case anything happens in the future, um, or you can even use it as an external disk drive. So next, we're going to change to our T6. There it is. So T6 star-shaped star screw, and we're going to take off these little T6 screws on the side of the hard drive. Now there's four of them, two on each side, and then we're going to plug them straight into our new SSD on the Samsung. So just screw it in nice and tight, and you're going to do it for all four of them. Okay, so once that's done, you've got all four plugged in, just plug it straight back into the, the cable, and then you're going to lay it down it's very easy to fit in it's going to slot nice and easy inside put that lock bar back on do out the two screws and then after that you're just going to put the base back on secure it up exactly like we did before when we took it off same screw order and then you can boot up that macbook